over one. Welcome to Drawing with White Hawk. Today, I'm going to be teaching you all how to draw the lovely Sugumi Seishiro from Nisekoi. So to start out with, you're going to want to choose a pencil or a brush, whichever you prefer. I'm using Paint Tool Sai, if you do not know. So I think I'm going to go with the brush, and I recommend going with a color to start out with, blue, since it's Sugumi. So start out with a circle. You're going to want to make it nice and just very circle-like to make sure it is, in fact, a circle. And next comes the eyes. You want them to be big since they are the eyes of an anime girl. And the anime girl eyes must be quite large. So next, and next up, I shall draw the brows and the nose. You know, you... You want to make it as anime-like as possible. And draw the little mouth, too. And next, add the blush. Anime girls, they always have the very large blush, so you, you need to add this, especially Sugumi. Then the hair. Just ma make it look like Sugumi's hair, follow what I'm doing, and um, it should it should work out fine. Now, what I'm doing here is adding Sugumi's little mole under her eye, because it's a very important feature of hers. Next, you gotta find the right size and add the bow. Because the bow is a very important part, along with the little tassels that hang from it. And now, we do the neck and a little bit of the clothing, just, just to be safe. We're family friendly here. And next, what we shall do is go over it in a little bit of line art, with a little bit of black, I think. It's a good color to go over, you know, your lines with, so I recommend doing it. As you can see, I'm going over a little bit, and um, yeah, just just to make it nice and perfect. So once you're finished with the line art, as you can see, I'm finishing up right about now, just doing the eyes and the brows. Then you're going to want to add your signature, just to make sure everyone knows it's your drawing, and it's fabulous. So, as you can see here, I zoom in a little bit, and go down, and just add my little signature, Whitehawk G. My personal signature, please don't use it. I, I love my art, so I, I must have it. And there we go, my signature is complete. And then we just add a little bit of color, just a little bit to make it look, you know, make it look professional. And with that little bit of color added to the hair, voila! It is finished, and it is great. I hope you found this video informative, and thank you for watching. I will see y'all next time. See ya!